Hello everybody, today we are going to see how to adjust a load sensing pump. In first, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel for follow the next video, and you can find this course in a written version. You will find the link under the video. Load sensing pumps are present in mobile applications. They make it possible to reduce energy consumption by adapting the flow rate to the pressure required for the operation of the machine. In this figure is shown a detectic sectional view of a variable dispersion pump equipped with a constant pressure regulation and load sensing regulation. In this figure is shown a sample hydraulic circuit. The symbolization represents the mechanics. A pump fitted with a load sensing regulation is connected to four pipes. A suction pipe marked S, a pressure pipe marked P, a drain pipe mark Y, a pilot pipe X. The variable dispersion pump assembly is framed by the blue dotted lines. Here, the ITM14 control piston tends to reduce the displacement of the pump when energized. The counter piston, ITM12, tends to increase the displacement of the pump. The constant pressure valve, ITM15, Cancel the displacement of the pump when it reaches the maximum pressure in the circuit. The load sensing valve, item 19, provides standby pressure and allows the orientation of the pump plate in order to adjust the flow rate necessary to satisfy customers. The jet, item 18, stabilizes the pump plate. Here, the load sensing directional valve block, composed of the inlet plate in which we will find the pilot operated pressure relay valve, item LP, it protects the pump, it cut off pressure peaks. A directional valve spool, the jet, item 24, represents the holes present in the spool. A closer plate. A double acting cylinder, item V1. The settings in the diagram are as follows. Pressure relay valve, LP. 280 bar, constant pressure valve, item 15, 250 bar, load sensing valve, item 19, 25 bars. In first, read the hydraulic diagram and install a pressure gauge, 0, 400 bar, between the pump and directional valve. Here, it is installed on the in-plate plate of the directional valve. Two, completely loosen the pressure relay valve. 3. Completely loosen the load sensing and constant pressure setting. Be careful, often there is no stop on the adjustment screw. 4. Switch on the pump. 5. Gradually and completely tighten the load sensing valve and constant pressure. The pump is transformed into the fixed dispatchment pump. The pump gives its maximum flow. All the flow returns to the tank via the pressure relay valve under a low pressure observed in M1 pressure gauge. 6. Gently tighten the pressure relay valve. The pressure should gradually rise on the M1 pressure gauge until it reaches 280 bar. The pressure relay valve is set. 7. Loosen the LS valve until 25 bars are reached on the M1 pressure gauge. The pump cancels its depressment and don't give flow. Change the pressure gauge by taking a smaller caliber, 0, 60 bar, to adjust the pressure standby to 25 bar. The LS valve is adjusted. Don't forget to replace pressure gauge by the 0, 400 bar. 8. Activate the directional valve. Wait the cylinder to reach the mechanic stop. 9. When the cylinder reaches to the mechanic stop, gradually loosen the constant pressure valve until it reaches 250 bar read on the M1 pressure gauge. The constant pressure valve is set. To note, the pressure relay valve must always be set above the constant pressure regulation, approximately 10%, to ensure that the pump correctly cancels its displacement. If the pressure relay valve is set too low. The pump will not completely cancel out its displacement when the receiver reaches a mechanic stop. 
the remaining flow rate in the pressure level valve and cause an abnormal rise in temperature of the hydraulic circuits. It's the end for today. Don't hesitate to ask your question and you can find my other service training advice by visiting the website. See you soon for new videos.